Hi, I'm Cameron. I have a master's in social work and I'm a behavior specialist with many years working with families in their homes using the teaching family model. Today I'm going to show you a water bottle rocket activity that is a lot of fun to do as a family. Okay, all the families that I've used it with have really enjoyed it. The bottle rocket goes up really high, 50-60 feet. And this is a great activity to use with following instructions. So what you're going to need for the water bottle rocket activity is a two liter bottle. You'll need two cups of water, one cup of vinegar, and this is the cheapest white vinegar that you can buy. You'll need a board and a screw, at least two inches or longer, a cork and duct tape, and a paper towel, and two tablespoons of baking soda. So what you want to do now is have your children pour in the two cups of water and the one cup of vinegar in the pop bottle. So to use the skill following instructions, what you'll do is you'll give them an instruction. Something like, okay, I need you to go and get the measuring cup and pour two cups of water in it and bring it back here. If that's too much for them, you can ask them, break it down, make it more simplified. You can ask them just to go get the measuring cup and have them follow instructions that way and then add the two cups of water and then pour it in. It just depends on the ability level of your children. So, but you wanna make sure that they follow the instructions, that they look at you, that they say okay, that they go do the instruction right away, and that they come back and recognize it somehow that they, that they completed it. Whether it's, I did it, or awesome, hooray, jumping up and down, whatever type of recognition they wanna do or that you wanna do that's fun. So now you're gonna make the baking soda pack that you're going to drop into the pop bottle that will set off the reaction to shoot it up in the air. This part is the most complicated part that your children will do. And so it's actually pretty easy to mess up, but that's okay. Then it brings out some frustration and we see if they can use the skill while they're a little bit frustrated. And so that helps to challenge them a little bit. So what you do is you take two tablespoons of baking soda and you kind of pour it out along the paper towel here. And the paper towel is about five inches by 11 or so. Put it along the middle here and then the way that you fold it is really important. So the first thing that you're going to do is fold it over once, hot dog style, and then you're going to fold the ends in. And then you're going to just wrap it tightly because it needs to be small enough to fit into the top of the pop bottle and be able to drop in. All right, next you're going to want to take your board and your screw that's two to three inches long and you'll put it up through the board so that it's sticking up. And this is the part that the adult will want to do. Then you'll have your cork and I've wrapped this cork in duct tape to make it fit tighter into the pop bottle so it really fits on there well. And then you'll screw the cork onto your board and there's your launch pad. All right, so what you want to do is go out into a, a large area because this goes up really high and you kind of don't know where it's going to come down. So you'll take your launch pad, which we have right here, and your baking soda pack. And then what you'll do is you'll insert this into the pop bottle and you'll just hold it right above before dropping it. You'll take your launch pad in your other hand and then you'll drop this baking soda pack into the bottle and quickly put this on the top and then you'll flip everything over. It may take a minute or so or just a couple seconds, but kind of varies each time, that's what makes it fun. And then it's gonna explode and shoot off.